Well, howdy, friends. Um, just out here on I-76. Uh, probably about two hours from home or so at this point. Uh, just pulling this load of hay. Just a little update on the truck. You know, nothing crazy about it. It's only got 8,700 miles on it. So it's still, you know, basically brand new. Um, cruising at 70 miles an hour. Um, just smooth as can be. No complaints there. Getting 11 miles the gallon right now and um, not really any wind and overall flat. You know, there's hills here and there. But uh, got 200 bales on there at 70 pounds a piece, so about 14,000 pounds. Uh, trailer's 8,600. And the truck's about eight, so probably man, that's about thirty thousand pounds, and uh, plenty of power, plenty of comfort, everything's perfect. One thing that we did upgrade is uh, got this little box here. So this is the controller for the airbags, and. Uh, Got the 7500s with the wireless air compressor. And when I get to a, a spot up here to get fuel or something, or maybe when I get back to the driveway, I'll get a video under the truck of the airbags. And um, I can tell you right now, night and day difference um, for the better. Love them. Besides that, not a whole lot else going on. Um, actually, Got married in the off time here. You can kind of see, you know, I got a little bit of sun glare here, but so off the market. So got me a Mrs. Thunderstroke now, and unfortunately she's at work. Normally she rides right there, but couldn't come today. Um, on my way out here to get hay, I stopped in at my trailer place, and uh, that's what all that's all about. Trading in my trailer to get another one um, nothing wrong with this trailer great trailer and I'll probably do a review on it before I get rid of it um, this one's 32 feet and the one I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna order it it's a 40 footer with air ride and an, and a lift axle um, the air ride will complement this truck and my feelings are if you're gonna be cruising down the road I uh, got to be comfortable so an air ride definitely helps that it's also gonna have a hydraulic dovetail on it so oh uh, I almost got this truck paid off so as soon as it's paid off I'm ready to make a move on it um, should be paid off in the next month or two so before the end of the year or maybe right towards the end should be ordering the new one and then drive down to Texas to pick it up instead of paying somebody else to bring it up here so I guess we'll go around this guy. Always check your mirrors. But yeah, I try and keep this video pretty short. Uh, the truck's still A plus, plenty of power, getting decent mileage out of it for you know what it does, and um, really no complaints. So as soon as I get to a spot, we'll get a video of the airbags underneath it. Okay, a little change of plans. I got busy, had to unload all that hay, so. Right now, I got a backhoe on it, and as you can see, if I back up here, it's level. So I'll show you where the airbags are. You can see them right down there. And then, let's see here. Too much in my hand. Here's the controller. So, I got them at 75. Now, letting air out, down to 65. Put some more air in. So, that's kind of how those go. Truck looks pretty good. 
rides great especially with all that weight on there so got some pipe anyways I'm gonna finish this video off going down the road with this load before we lose all the daylight so here we are pulling out get a big swing out of the driveway and uh, even with this load you know a truck just go go goes you can see it's still back there I'm not cheating but so the weight of this backhoe is unknown um, they said from memory right around that 17,000 range 18,000 I'm not really sure we have a John Deere 310 um, it's only two-wheel drive and it weighed in it was a little more than 15 um, and it had a big bucket on so this one's probably not too far off since it's four-wheel drive um, pretty big case but anyways that's a uh, kind of gist of it so pulled this load in 13.7 um, not bad at all I only ran probably about 60 65 with it so being this big it's more important to be able to stop when you have something that heavy behind you the exhaust brake awesome manual shift awesome but well once I have something else to pull around or something else to update I'll uh, make another video until then have a good one